Well, they're the boys from Las Vegas who have become super rock stars. And thanks in part to their massive hit, Radioactive, which they performed earlier here on our plaza. That song stayed on the top of the charts for 87 weeks. Even did it. Imagine Dragons is going to sing the song you picked in just a bit. But first, let's get to know the guys, Dan Reynolds, Wayne Sermon. Ben McKee and Daniel Platts. Well, good morning, fellas. Good to hey see guys. you. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Hey, so we were telling you, this crowd this morning, one of the yes. largest that we've seen. When I got here this morning, it stretched for blocks down the street. Yeah. What kind of pressure is that, in addition to having the pressure of the follow-up album? I'll just start hard here. Oh, man, to be honest <laughs> with you, we, we probably have to go get checked because we really are not... I don't think any of us have been, like, feeling pressure or said anything about pressure. We just feel... Uh, Mm -hmm. I think that the love, the yeah. energy, I, know, it's I like, love that. It's not like we yeah. expect it. It's just so mind blowing. You just, you just can't grasp you it. You say wow. Yeah, you just can't <laughs> grasp it. So it's like, oh, there's all these people here to see us today. <laughs> it's this crazy. Is, yeah. This is yeah, it crazy. certainly compels us to put on the best show that we can whenever we get out there and we see a crowd like that, especially at seven in the morning. I mean. Yeah. yeah people and you guys out there put on early. a show, yes. let me tell you. Oh, I love you. your moves, Dan. <laughs> so you bang that drum. That's awesome. <laughs> thank you. Um, you guys, we talked about you coming from Las yeah. Vegas, but what a lot of people don't know is how you got your, your big break. Yeah. And I understand it, it came from train, apparently. Somebody got sick and they couldn't make an appearance. Yeah, that Tell helped. me more. What happened? You know, um... Well, for that particular, there was really a lot of steps, yeah. I'd say. I can't say there was one particular break that suddenly we were big, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> but for that, yeah, the singer of Train, there was a festival that we got invited to play in Vegas. We played at like 11 a.m. Yeah. Um, you got one of the animal flus. It was either swine flu or bird flu. Oh, it was oh, one of the boy. first cases oh. of swine flu. I actually swine ran into the flu, guitar yeah. player oh my God. for Train years later at South by Southwest when we were playing there. Uh, Pat Monahan got swine flu, Gosh. couldn't perform their headlining set that night at the Life is Beautiful Festival in Las Vegas. So we had won the afternoon spot to play, and uh, the promoter for the festival saw us perform, asked us to fill in for train, and all of a sudden we went from playing to, you know, 100 people at yeah. 12 noon to playing in front of 25, 30,000 people at 9 o'clock at so night. That's cool. incredible. Well, they tell you when the door opens, you've got to be ready to go through it, and you <laughs> yeah. were. So let's talk about the new album, Smoke and Mirrors. How's this different from Night Visions, and what are you bringing to, I guess, your fans at this point? We definitely didn't go into Smoke and Mirrors like mm -hmm. with an agenda to either recreate Night Visions or to do the opposite of Night Visions. We were really trying to go in free of any agendas and really just make honest music we could stand behind that we can be proud of for years. So that's what Smoke and Mirrors is. You know, we had a collection of demos we wrote while we were on the road, and then when we got off the road, we went into the studio with over 100 songs and had to start whittling down <laughs> what the what Smoke and Mirrors was going to be for us. Wow. So you, yeah, you talked earlier about the battles that you guys had to 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 make sure you guys got the right out songs on the album. So, you happy with it, how it turned out? I mean, you already have some big hits. Shots is already climbing up the charts. Yeah, I, th I think that, you know, we're, we're definitely perfectionists while we're recording it. Right, yeah. But once you finish an album, you kind of, you let go of it, you know? Yeah. And I think all of us are really proud of it. And we're, we've been really happy to be able to perform it on the road. And especially when you're performing it live, it's where it really comes to life. Yeah. yeah, this yeah. tour has been the most fun I think we've ever had on stage. We were able yeah. to really put a lot of effort into designing a stage and designing production around the music, around the album that we right. created. We created this whole world that the music lives in. So mm -hmm. it's not just seeing us perform on a stage. It's really this whole immersive experience that people love are getting that. at the concerts. Well, well, we love it. You have at least 80 songs on the floor that you can pick up in the next <laughs> album. It's already done. Imagine Dragons. Thank you so much. And they are going to sing, I love this, The Viewer's Choice. It's time in just a few minutes. Bye. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.